Now let's take a look at the resource we need to start using Power Apps to create our apps. Okay, so what are them? Basically, we just need a computer with a browser and internet access and a corporate email account with a office license that has Power Apps. Okay, if you are watching this class, I bet you have a computer already. And second step, the more important, is you need this email from your company or you can create in another way that I will show in the next slide. So basically you need to have the office account with Excel, OneDrive, SharePoint and these things. If you have these already, usually you already have Power Apps in there. Okay, it doesn't work for a Gmail account or a Hotmail, you need to have a domain, a company domain, because as I mentioned in the previous video, Power Apps is intended for companies, right? So what are the options? Option one, you already work in a company and have an account and you want to develop in there. And the second option is to create a Microsoft developer account if available on your country. I will leave the link here in the description where I have a video on YouTube showing how to create these accounts, where to go and how to find the website to create. Maybe it changes a little the interface, but the process is very similar. So I will let you do that if you don't have your account. Let's test if we have access to Power Apps. How can we know that? Well, basically, we are going to go to our browser where we are logged in with our account that we normally use and we are going to type make.powerapps.com. So let me share my other screen and let's test it. Here I'm with my browser opened at bing.com or any website that you have open. You just need to go here and type make.powerapps.com powerapps.com and it should open the Power Apps website where you can develop your apps. You need to see this interface or something very similar because they are always changing the interface. But you need to find here home, create, learn apps, something that tells you that this is to create Power Apps. Maybe if you're not registered, maybe it can show some pop up here to provide your details but you will end up here, okay? Or if you are in, a, in any other Office product, such as Outlook, SharePoint, and so on, you can click here in these dots and find Power Apps here. Or if you click on Explore All Your Apps, you may be able to find Power Apps in there too. So those are the options for you to find the Power Apps interface. Now, in the next video, we are going to explore better this interface and how the app creator 2 works see you in there